Sanctuary State, California just issued a get out of jail free card to thousands of suspects, becoming the first state to eliminate bail for nonviolent offenders. But this bill has faced some serious backlash from critics who say releasing potential criminals back onto the streets creates a major safety issue for their communities. Joining us now is the former vice chair of the California Republican Party and attorney, Harmie Dillon. Thank you for your time this morning. Is this going to work? I got it. No, and it's being criticized both by the left and the right. So from a public safety point of view, what you're going to be having is people let out as early as 12 hours after being arrested with no real assurances on the part of the state that they'll come back for their court dates. And on the opposite side, the uh, civil rights community is saying that the uh, state is now going to be using a algorithm that has uh, been found to be racially biased, as well as allowing judges vastly expanded discretion on the more serious crimes so that you could have a lot more people ending up in prison or in jail, rather, waiting for their trial as a result of this, not less. Yeah, the ACLU kind of has some issues with this as well, which I think is surprising. Usually anything California does, the ACLU is usually all on board with. Um, it's, it's an interesting idea, though, because the first thing is it's the scare tactics are there from a lot of people that are worried about it. But if you're brought in for anything serious or anything violent, you have no shot of getting out before you see a judge, right? And this is problematic because both the United States Constitution and our California Constitution guarantee the right to bail. And so, yeah. you know, I think that's why the civil rights groups are really blowing the whistle on this. And in other states where they've tried this, Rob, it's actually been disastrous for public safety. Uh, New Mexico and New Jersey have experimented with this. And they're seeing a spike in crime, repeat players, as well as not really any evidence of, uh, you know, alleviating crowding in the prisons as well. And for people who might not be totally caught up to speed on this, let's give you some details of this new bail law. Uh, starting with suspects will be gauged under a risk assessment system, the details of which have not been released yet. Suspects arrested for nonviolent, as Rob mentioned, misdemeanors will be let go within 12 hours of being booked. Suspects charged with serious or violent felonies won't be eligible. Officials have 24 hours to determine if a suspect is qualified for release will take effect in October of 2019. Uh, what's your biggest concern? Well, the, the one thing is that actually 2019 is the deadline, but a lot of communities are already doing this. San Francisco, where I'm sitting right now, is already doing this. The biggest concern is public safety. Uh, public safety is going to be impacted by the fact that, you know, look, just to give one example, we have three million illegal aliens in this state. And to the extent that, you know, folks who are transient or arrested for crimes, what's the assurance on the part of the public that they'll be arrested and, you know, come back to their mm -hmm. court dates as opposed to just move on to the next county? That's a huge problem. And, you know, in, ter in terms of crowding in the prisons, if you're arrested for a serious crime, which could happen to any of us even mistakenly, uh, it's unconstitutional to deny the right to bail. And so we're going to be seeing lawsuits here from both sides, mm -hmm. likely, and the bail communities already uh, put a referendum on the ballot uh, notice of that starting today uh, that they're, they're gathering signatures in the next 90 days. So it's quite possible yeah. that this law will be stayed pending that being on the ballot. Okay, let's get to another topic there in California. You've got a governor's race coming up and you've got a candidate in Gavin Newsom who uh, used to run San Francisco and he wants to give everybody in the state free health care, including illegal immigrants. Let's listen to him. I'm not naive about it. I did universal health care when I was mayor, fully implemented, regardless of pre-existing condition, ability to pay, and regardless of your immigration status. San Francisco is the only universal health care plan for all undocumented residents in America. I'm very proud of that. And we proved it can be done without bankrupting the city. Uh, I'd like to see that we can extend that to the rest of the state. So, Harmeet, Jerry Brown just got your finances in order in that state. You've actually gotten rid of a lot of the debt. This would be a tremendously expensive plan. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Uh, Gavin Newsom, by the way, no longer lives in San Francisco. He's left a mess behind. We all know what's going on in San Francisco. But, you know, we have universal health care in a way for illegal aliens all over the country. It's called going to the emergency room and getting free care there. So the idea that this is cost free is ludicrous. Uh, what it is going to do, however, is make California even more of a magnet for illegal aliens. And there's simply no uh, no math behind Gavin Newsom's proposal as to how he proposes to pay for this. So, uh, you know, yet again, he's a pie in the sky politician here in California. And I don't think that, uh, you know, this is a great campaign tactic, but there's no way that this is ultimately going to be passed into law. All right. Harmeet Dillon, thank you for joining us. Pie in the sky politician. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that, Harmeet. Thank you so that. much. <laughs> I haven't heard that. 18 you minutes after.